Hey, in this video I will be proving the area of a circle is pi r squared, which is probably a formula that you learned in middle school, but you were never shown uh, at any stage in your academic career why, why it's the case. And it's not actually very easy, so uh, hopefully you can follow. Um, all right, so we have to assume something. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. That's the equation of a circle, not its area, just the equation of a circle in the Cartesian plane. So what I'm going to start is I'm going to uh, write this explicitly, which means uh, as y equals. This is written implicitly as it is right now. So I'll solve for y. I get y equals, uh, if I subtract x squared, I get r squared minus x squared. And then square root, and I should get a plus and minus. Now the plus will correspond to the top half circle and the minus will correspond to this bottom part. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm only going to integrate, I'm only going to find the area of this piece right here. That'll be easier when I integrate, and uh, then I'll multiply my answer by 4, and it should end up being uh, pi r squared. So 4 integral, so 4 times the integral from 0 to r, so this is the integral from 0 to the radius r, of, and I'll just do the top side, r squared minus x squared dx. All right, so I'm going to do a substitution called a trigonometric substitution. So I'm going to let x equals to r sine theta, which means dx, the derivative of x, is going to be r cosine theta d theta. So now I can substitute both of these Okay, so now for integral of root r squared stays the same, and x squared will be minus r sine theta squared, and then dx is r cosine theta d theta. Looks like we've made it more difficult. But uh, in fact, we haven't. What we're going to do is we're going to factor out an r squared. So I have, actually, before we do that, I need to change these limits. Um, so these limits exist for when we're dealing with x, but we're not dealing with x anymore. We're dealing with theta. So I need to change these limits. So those limits, if I plug in 0 in for x, I'll divide by r. So I get 0 equals sine theta. 0 equals sine theta. So when is sine theta 0? What angle produces a sine of 0? Well, that's 0. And then I'll go equals r. Substitute in r for x. Divide by r, I get 1 equals sine theta. So what angle produces a sine value of 1? That's pi over 2. OK, so now I can continue. So I'll factor out an r squared. Distribute this squared, we have an r squared. The square root of r squared is just r. So 4r, I'll bring it outside because it's just a constant. Integral from 0 to pi over 2 of root 1 minus cosine, sorry, 1 minus sine squared theta. And I'm going to bring this r out, so that will become r squared. And then we'll have a cosine d theta. OK. So there's a couple Pythagorean identities that will help us here. One in particular, we know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, which means 1 minus sine squared. Bring this over. We have 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared. So 4 r squared integral from 0 to pi over 2 of root cosine squared is just going to be cosine, square root of cosine squared, times cosine. So we're going to end up with cosine squared d theta. Cosine squared theta d theta. OK. 
Now, taking the integral of cosine squared isn't that easy. Well, we're going to use what's called a reduction formula, or you'll notice it as uh, just the double angle formula, which cosine is a couple. So I'm going to use cosine 2 theta. Cosine's double angle formula is equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So it's very difficult to integrate cosine squared. So yeah, we reduce the power by using its double angle formula. So that means cosine 2 theta is equal to plus 1 over 2 is equal to cosine squared. So that's what we use, which will be easier. I'll factor out a 2 right away when I substitute. So that will cancel with the 4 to become 2r squared, integral from 0 to pi over 2, of cosine 2 theta plus 1 d theta. So again, this is replaced with this, and the fact I, can't, I brought the 2 out to, fact, to uh, cancel with that 4. Now, 2r squared. The integral of cosine is 1 half sine 2 theta. Integral of cosine 2 theta is 1 half sine 2 theta. Integral of 1 will just be theta, and this will be from 0 to pi over 2. Evaluated at those limits, we get 2r squared 1 half sine 2 theta sine 2, and then evaluated at pi over 2, we get pi plus pi over 2 minus, substitute in 0, sine of 0 is 0, so that's 0, and plus 0. So then we have 2r squared, and sine of pi is 0, so this will be 0 plus pi over 2, which equals, and if I cancel those 2's, I get pi r squared, the area of a circle.